Mark your calendar. Wednesday is United Nations World Oceans Day. Why, you might wonder, are we honoring our oceans? By way of explanation, we offer this crash course, compliments of our friend and one-time CBS News colleague, the endlessly inventive Robert Krulwich. If you look down on our planet, most of the surface is water. We have huge oceans, lots of seas and rivers and lakes, so much water that if you could weigh it all, and scientists have, it would come to 1,450,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
So there are now more and more low oxygen zones, sometimes called suffocation zones, where it's harder for a fish to breathe. So either they die or mostly they flee to areas where it's still safe to breathe. But that makes for a more crowded and not very healthy ocean. Warmer waters change chemistry. So animals have more trouble getting the minerals they need to build shells and coverings, leaving them increasingly naked and in danger. And that is starting to happen too. And when water gets warmer, it expands and swells, flooding the shores, eating into land. And warmer water puts more moisture in the air, which makes more rain and more wind and more damage. And yet, yet, here is our predicament. For so long, the oceans have been our silent ally, helping us to stay cool more than trees do, or, or fields, or ice, or even air. All those things, they absorb heat too. But put them on a graph, and here's how much heat air absorbs. Here's how much heat land absorbs. Here's how much heat ice absorbs. And here, <laughs> here's how much heat the oceans absorb. It is a, a gigantic gift, cooling us year after year for free. Well, well no, not exactly for free, not anymore. Because the oceans sitting on all that heat are beginning to change. And if we keep adding greenhouse gases to the sky, going forward, we're going to have to pay a new price. Because as big and as vast as the oceans are, the heat we have added has hit the point where those generous tons and tons and tons of ocean water are now saying, enough.